Hey pups, Arpy here, and in this three-part R Speaks mini-series of sorts, we'll be looking back at my short years of junior high. The R piece is basically your typical junior high scenery that's well-fitting for the theme. Now, I will share about two teacher stories, but there's a crap ton of stories involving students. And I won't bring up my bullying story because I don't want to repeat a past video. But there was one student I didn't mention that I feel free talking about. And no witch hunting, no acid tree. Hopefully, all of these students that I mentioned have changed. So let's go. There was a student in my first and sixth period classes whom we'll name Gaston. Now, at first, Gaston wasn't much of a bully until I called him an idiot for either talking too much when I was trying to focus on my work or for something else I can't remember, and I became his favorite and quite possibly only target. Gaston never did anything physical, it was mostly verbal and that's about it. And I want you guys to picture something. Picture Belle and Gaston, me being Belle, in a verbally abusive relationship. Now you see why I call him Gaston. And there's more reasons behind why I call this guy Gaston. So let's continue on, or I'd be talking about it all day. Now, I'm not saying this to be a feminist, which I'm not, or sound like I'm mean or better than anybody or better than everybody, which of course I am not. But he looked and sounded like the guy who would put his girlfriend down verbally and would put himself on a pedestal of greatness to keep up his ego. One of the things he do was talk about how uh, sexy he was. But this guy still had the face and body of a boy who would eat nothing else but junk food and play at Xbox all week and not study or do homework at all. That's what he looked and felt like to me. And when our first period group was doing a social studies project, he wouldn't care if we failed and he didn't. All three members, myself included, because one, two, three, wanted to pass and get either an A or a B. I'm not sure if this guy was that big of a narc or a... Yeah, I don't know. During the three or four final months of school, I think, Gaston stopped picking on me because I think he began to realize I didn't care what he said or did to me anymore, and he stopped because... I wouldn't react. I never saw Gaston again after 7th grade, so either he dropped up because he failed, or he moved to another place, but let's hope Gaston has changed. This next student was a popular girl that I tried to be friends with, but I gave up around high school, and yeah, she followed me through high school. We'll call her Regina, like Regina George from Mean Girls. Hell, she was even- she was almost like Regina. Regina was in my first, third, and fourth period classes. And whenever I either had money for lunches, school events, snacks, or had something she wanted, she would legit whine for it and say, I want it! I want it! Bitch, I was saying have the money for me and needed it for food, donations, and bought whatever I bought with my money. You should have done that yourself. You should have done what I did, take from my bug and did what I did, save up some money and buy whatever I wanted to buy, or whatever you wanted to buy, and yeah. <laughs> now, I'm not 100% sure if this is true or not, but she also made fun of another girl I knew, and she was not only annoying, but a mean girl too. That's why I called her Regina. Let's hope Regina has changed her ways. These next two students were and still are two of my best friends. And I see one of them at the store sometimes. And if they're both watching this, hi friends, I love you, I hope Lola's treating you right. The first friend we'll call is Lola. Lola was in my fifth period gym class and we started to be very close friends in the middle of the year. We've been practically inseparable, inseparable since then. Our friendship grew in freshman year. But then she had to move away during the summer when we were about to enter high school. But we kept in contact through Skype. And if Lola does watch this, 
Hi, Lola. I love you. Hope you're doing good. And this last person is still a good friend of mine. And we still keep in contact to this very day, too. We'll call him Lucky. Lucky has been a close friend since ninth grade. And a lot of people thought we were a boyfriend and girlfriend. But the reality is, Lucky and I are just really close friends. He stuck with me through high school and was there to help when I had scoliosis during the second semester of senior year. And he's kind of like a brother, like how my friend Charlie is. They're both like brothers in many ways. Now then, on to the teachers. My English teacher, Miss Kimberly, who was around my 8th and 9th grade English teacher, and my art teacher, Mrs. B. Miss Kimberly was my language arts teacher for two years and helped me deal with bullying with her, with her advice of awesomeness and got me more into horror and dark literature such as Edgar Allan Poe and a whole lot more. Miss B was my art teacher and she, wel and she was the one who welcomed me into the art world and was nice and motherly and let us watch movies, listen to music, talk while we did our projects and she was the best art teacher ever. And we even did like little duct tape crafts. And I still have a duct tape wallet that I have to this very day. It's awesome. Now this is the last and final story that I will tell. This last and final story involves a school fight. It was on the same day I and many other students who raised money for a school fundraiser won a movie trip to go see Rise of the, Rise of the Guardians. And joke's on you, cause I was a good noodle in junior high. I just gathered up my supplies and rushed down the hallway to my English class, which was the only thing I cared about, not the fight. I noticed a crowd of students and was thinking, what the fuck is going on? And I rushed over there and saw one girl on the ground and another girl, a classmate I knew by the way, being pinned to the lockers by a teacher to keep her from hurting the other girl. And then silence. We were all shocked scared, and some, myself included, were confused. And just then, my history teacher, I kid you not, screamed at the top of his lungs, I don't want to see a single soul in this hallway! Everyone get to class right now! And just like that, everyone ran to class, myself included. I even had a student slash classmate ask me if I was okay. And of course I was, I was just a little bit shocked and confused and scared and questions were, running, were going through my mind. And my history teacher was that pissed off, I kid you not, he was so pissed off that he literally screamed. Oh boy. At least I was a good noodle and not got into any fights cause... School fights to me were pretty pointless, they were stupid, nothing gets resolved in fights. It only leads to people getting hurt and quite possibly killed. Well, that's all the time I have, pups. And if you have a junior high story, please share it in the comments below and I'll see you later, pups. This is our pair of you to stay awesome, stay strong, and stay beautiful.